everybody, welcome back to what may or may not be the final session of Rhyme. Uh, if this is not the final session, it is going to be incredibly close to it. Now, I uh, respawned here due to the checkpoint system when I loaded into the game, and this will give me an interesting opportunity to look around in this area that I haven't done yet. So, there's a statue of me crying, which, god damn, that's a weird thing to get a statue of yourself made out of. And there also appears to be a brigade of, of ghosty things that are just like, like, you got ID on you? You got ID? You 21, bro? No? Then get the hell out of here. So, I need to go get a fake ID by finding a bunch of little baby statue things and yelling at them. And then they'll presumably do what I need to do, whatever I need to do to, uh, to let me get into the, into, into the, the club. Okay, so we got to explore this area and find all the statues. It's actually calling back to an earlier part of the game where there was a big ring uh, and you had to go find another assortment of statues and there was like a white ghosty ghost. So I guess they're trying to th theme that back to this area somehow, which I almost have to wonder if this is the same uh, layout as the other level. That would be a pretty cool thing. If I, I remember the old level had had death pits, and if you fell down into them, you would get teleported back to like the start of the zone. Here, I I do get distinctly get the feeling that this is the same level layout. Like I, I think that they reused the map here, and I get that feeling. I don't know. It just there's a there's a certain sense of familiarity I'm getting as I move through this level as if I had already been here before. Uh, granted, I wasn't able to do what I'm doing right now, where I'm able to like drop down and explore a couple of these other areas, but that's okay by me. I would actually consider that a fairly cool thing if they indeed had it set up so that you were able to, you, you just revisited where you were. Uh, I don't know what this is all about. But it certainly is interesting. So I, well, I guess I couldn't get any wetter than I was what was standing out in the rain all day. Uh, I don't know. I just kind of saw that thing on the wall and then I saw a grippy next to it and was like, well, you know, we'll just see where this takes me. Turns out that, that was a pretty good idea. It managed to let me up into this area. I have no idea whether this is one of the statues. It is. Okay. So that was an intentional puzzle thing. I'm gonna go ahead and yell at this thing. Can I can I interact with my foxy? No, of course I can't. Aw, foxy, you tired. I I can understand that. Okay, so that's actually one of the intended puzzles. I thought that I'd perchance stumbled upon some sort of side content or maybe some sort of collectible, unlockable thing. But uh nope, I was wrong. This is something you need to be doing. Okay, so we'll uh we'll just uh, keep going through here. Um, don't really see where I'm supposed to go, but I mean, I figure if I just keep going in a big circle around the center, I'll eventually get to everything that I need to be getting in this section. I wonder, is there anything up over there? Nope, there's nothing like that. So we'll just keep going. Uh, I assume that the level is designed well enough that as I just move through it in whatever path seems the most natural, I will happen upon every everything that I need to be heading towards. Of course, doubling backwards and going through areas that I've already been to probably undermines that effort just a little bit. Uh, that's fair. Uh, I could also probably see if I could find the fox. I can't hear the fox anywhere, so it's a little bit hard to find the fox if I can't hear it. Um, well, whatever. To that end, let's go ahead and get and uh, I think this is another section that will take me to a statue. If I just go up here and start hop, skipping, and jumping across this stuff. And I, if I remember, I need to do four statues. This will be number three for me. So I need to make this leap. And I got it. And I probably need to go up. Now I can go around on this side. But I don't see where this takes me just yet. Uh, there's, there's like another, there's two paths here, which is a little bit unusual. So, 
one of these is bound to be taking me towards some... I'm assuming that if there are collectibles in this area, they're like those uh, little eye hole things that I found earlier. Oh, the other thing they can do to make sure that I find the statues is uh, they emit beams of light like it's a damn um, rock concert. And uh, to that end, I am indeed ready to rock because I'm a free bird. Okay. Let's go sit here and spam the yell button. Hey, 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 hey. There it goes. I'm like Navi. All right. Now, there's a couple of things over by these braziers on the walls. Kind of interesting. I want to... Uh, there's this fire. Yeah, okay. It's just like a... It's just a slightly unusual looking reflection of, of the cackling fires. Alright. Uh, regardless, I've made my way back here. So, we'll take the branching path that I didn't... I didn't go down. Oh, never mind. I can't. Well. That's... That's a little bit odd. Um, so those are grippable. And that is very unusual. So can I can I take an alternate path by jumping onto this thing? I can't. Uh, could be... Could be a red herring. Could be that I'm not actually intended to go about this thing. Okay. I will... Uh, I'll, I'll just keep going to the left and keep my eyes on that gigantic glowy shooty shooty prize over there. Oh, okay. This is the sound of these things. I don't get these guys, right? Like, sometimes they're afraid of me, sometimes they want to kill me, and then sometimes they're just, like, chill with me. And I don't really know under what context each one is. I'm guessing, I'm, I'm getting the sense that there's some sort of time travel going on in the plot. Like, I get a very loose idea that, like, uh, in the first act, it, I'm, I'm, it's actually, like, act, the first zone is, like, act two, and then the second zone is, like, act five, and then I'm in act one now, or something. I don't, I, it, it's just, I kind of get that sense from the plot. I don't know if it's actually true or not, but, it, feels like a fairly reasonable explanation for why none of this stuff has any sort of cohesion to it. Um, but I'm guessing that's what what's going to happen is I'm going to reach the end and then it's going to dump all of the plot on me. Uh, I assume I'm going to find out, like, this is why the Hyperlight Drifter has been following you around. Um, because he's your dad. And if the game makes it so that the Hyperlight Drifter is my dad, uh... Well, I can at least claim that I've called it successfully. I'm, I'm almost convinced that that guy that I've been randomly following me, following around, is the king that t told me to go onto the boat or whatever. I mean, how could it not be? Uh, well, I did see that one drawing of the king. So there was a drawing that ha was the king sending the sun off, and I've clearly established that I'm the sun at this point. The king sent his son off to do boat things. And then I went onto the boat, and I met the Hyperlight Drifter there, but that, uh... It'd kind of, it'd kind of be, like, a little bit weird and arbitrary if it turned out that the King was also the Hyperlight Drifter, because he was, like, the one who told me to get onto the boat, and he was really sad about it. Well, well, I kind of wish... I wish I could see a, uh... I, I, I hope that there's a screen at some point that gives me a list of all the plot points that I've collected so far and just tells me, like, yep, here you go. You got it. <laughs> Regardless, this was the last uh, switch thing I needed to kill. So I see that looks like a toy. That doesn't look like one of the, one of the statues, unfortunately. But, I mean, not really that unfortunate. I still get one of the unlockables here by doing this. Uh, no, no, that is indeed one of the statues, because the, 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 the dog, the dog fox wolf thing was right there. Okay, so this will have done it for this section, and I can move on to the next one. I jumped way too far. Okay, let's, uh, let's not plummet to my immediate super demise this time, and I came really close, and that was actually kind of okay. 
So, since level is in a big circle, watch as I magically appear right where I was from from before. Yep, that is a reflection from the torch, and it looks really, really bad. That does not make any damn sense why a blue fire would emit a blue, a, a green reflection. But, eh, uh, what can you do? I mean, I'm assuming that they have some weird colored light going on. I, I guess they probably put like a, a colored light on that uh, they then put a filter on and then didn't change the colored light to match the filters. That'd be my guess. I don't know. If I remember earlier, the statue of myself crying was not facing this direction. It looks like by doing this, I have, by getting all the, all the statues, I caused the uh, statue to turn around. Okay, well I assume by crying, I have now only special sadness magic. That makes all the uh, ghosty ghosties go away. No! No! Don't kill my friend! Jesus Christ! This game takes everything from you. First I lost my dad, then I lost my pet. Okay. Huh. Alright. So, this is cool. I break out of this by just spamming the move joystick a whole bunch. What? I've become one of the evil ones? Really? I've... What? Where the hell is this game going? Did I get, like, the bad ending somehow? Or is this, like, actually how it's supposed to go? Can I... I'm slow as shit. I can't roll anymore. This is... This is getting pretty crazy. How do the... How do the weird ghosty things feel about me now? I'm gonna... Okay, so the ones that were blocking my path continue to do so if I run into them. There's a... There's a statue up there. Uh, before I go any further, I want to see if I can reach that thing. Ah. Uh, I hope I didn't, like, lock myself out of doing it already. I don't, I don't even know what it is, but it's something. I want to see if maybe there's, like, different endings to this game, and if I explore a little bit, I can, like, drop my, I don't know, my weird lack of soul thing I got going on here. Like, I get that my character, you know, I, I get that I am, like, but a small child, and therefore I have a crippling lack of soul. You know, because I did I haven't done the typical soul things, like listen, I don't know, listen to a lot of Marvin Gaye. I don't know, that all made a lot more sense in my head before I said it. Hey, let's yell at this thing and see what happens. Okay, that did unlock something. There's now a statue in the middle. That's probably a collectible item. So we'll go and pick that thing up. And then I guess that's probably it for this section. And I will, I'll, I'll keep an eye out. I'm gonna look around and see if there's any more beam of, beams of lights in the distance. We have none, so we're gonna just pick this thing up. Ah, God, I missed so so much stuff when I was going through the previous two acts, but I thought I was getting a lot of things, but I guess I wasn't I wasn't paying as much attention as I should have. Alright, so I assume I'm gonna go in here and then there's gonna be Framped and he's gonna be like, So Night Artorius, welcome! But this whole thing ends up being a giant prequel to Dark Souls. That would be really, really goddamn funny to me. Like, ah yes! You've just, you're the furtive pygmy. You can become the Lord of Cinder. <laughs> I'm, I'm halfway there. I'm fucking, I, I look all like, like, ash. So I could be like the Lord of Cinder. And I'm falling. Damn it. I couldn't see the, I can't see the, 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 the things I'm supposed to grab onto right now. I can't grab onto that. Can I jump on this? 
Nope. I can't get on this. Oh, there we are. There we are. That was really, really weird. Okay, I should be able to continue now by going over here. I don't... Come on. <laughs> a little bit weird. I don't know what I'm... What the hell... Uh, I don't even know what I'm climbing up right now. So it's just, I saw like a statue of me crying. And apparently there's like a whole series on this. Like, like uh, I, I went up to the statue makers. I was like, can you just do like a bunch of me just weeping openly? And the statue makers were like, yes, well, uh, very good, Prince. We'll make that happen for you. Are they all looking at me? Well, they've locked me in here. So they're like, maybe those guys are the ones that made the statues. And they're like, like does he like it? Oh, I think he, I think, I think he likes it. He's climbing up on the crying statues. It's because the only emotion they know how to show is sadness. Doesn't mean it's the only emotion I, I they have to make statues out of. Okay, up. Thank you. Jeez, <laughs> it was like, can you go up? Can you go up? Can you go up? Uh, finally. All right, and we'll need to grab onto this thing, I guess. Oh good, light, the thing that everybody in this zone hates. Let's just pour a bunch of it on everybody. <laughs> okay, there's a there's a ledge I can drop down onto right here, so we'll do that. And that will allow me to get around the other side. And then Really? Interesting. Maybe it won't. Yeah, I can't I can't go up here. I thought there was going to be another chain thing I would be able to unlock, but that does not appear to be the case. Well, that's fine. Uh, okay, so there's something over there that's now doused in light. So a bunch of dudes down there. Um, hmm. Oh wow! If I go, if I try to use my my vocal powers, it just it sounds like a a ghost now. Wow. This is, this is a really, really weird turn this game took. I honestly did not see, like, any of this coming at this point. Well, uh, I can drop down. So I guess that's what I'm going to do. And now that I'm down here, this is a slightly different section. Ah, yes, 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 there we are. I see the, the grabbable ledges that are down on that side. So we'll do that real fast. And I assume that'll take me... To, since those are all lit up, I should be able to take this uh, uh, to some sort of conclusion here. Interesting, it's a foot. Hmm. Let me guess, the wall is another statue of somebody crying. <laughs> well, uh, at least they're theming their place, right? Like, they got... They have a consistent uh, idea of what they want to have for their interior decor. Like, can you put the statue over of everybody being miserable over here? I want to have a theme of um, despair in my living room. If you could make that happen, that would be great. And I guess they they did it. Okay, one more chain in this area. It looks. Let's see, this is probably going to light up a whole bunch of stuff. I see a ledge over to my right already, so we should be good to go. Uh, yep, there we are. There's a bunch of ledges that I can climb down. I find it very interesting that the... Well... Oh. Okay. I find it very interesting that the... All of the, the, the dark enemies that I was dealing with earlier that I've now become one of their kind... I find it very odd to me that I don't appear to have any sort of problems dealing with the light when they would like recoil at it. I I don't I don't really know. There there are some things that I find now that I've played through this game, I feel like they lost a little bit of uh, momentum on and the that that is, that is something I think that they might have missed but we'll see let's see what this is all about okay am i back to normal or am i still evil i am angelically white now so i uh i really boy i covered a lot of extremes in the past like five minutes here this is a pretty room though 
with that. A orb where they were like, let's uh, let's crank the brightness slider up on this thing to 75 billion. Can I can I hot again? Yep, I can sing again, so that's kind of nice. All right, I uh, can't. I could sing better than I was able to earlier, actually, so... Who knew, uh, who knew that all you need to do if you want to become a better singer is just douse yourself in sunlight? Oh, I've been here before. This is the loading screen. <laughs> neat. Real neat. What is... I guess I need to run down through the staircases I've been taking this whole time. Well... Uh, this is actually really cool. I don't see any of the torches or anything like that. <laughs> wow. That really fucking took some... <laughs> hey, thanks, game, for not making me run down a, a 100... A billion mile long staircase. Apparently my guy was not he was not up to task anyway, so we really saved ourselves a bit of an embarrassing moment there. Uh is the world upside down? The world is upside down. I am walking through the ceiling right now. Uh well we'll head to that giant the witness puzzle and climb through the bottom of it, and then I assume I'm gonna get some cutscenes, and it's like Dad! And it's like... And then it just says... Rhyme. And then... I don't know. I assume that the fox and the uh, the robots have... The sentinel robot things have like a giant dance party together. That's how I would end the game anyway. But... We'll see what cutscene I'm about to get. Okay, I'm back in control. So, I'm mostly going to let that cutscene speak for itself. But this is... I'm in a... I guess I'm in my... The child character's bedroom. Now. And... Uh, well, we'll... we'll I'm mostly going to let the game kind of play itself out here since we're towards the very, very end.
Oh, man. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna go lock up the uh, room now. So this is uh, clearly modeled after one of the sentinel things. So I guess a lot of the constructs in this game are... I, I wonder what else I can find in here that would... Uh, well, yeah, there's another one of the toys. Oh, every toy that you find in the game appears in this room? Oh, man. Oh, that's a nice touch. Okay, so I found the sentinel. And I found the... There's the, there's the wind thing that I found earlier. And then I found the, uh, the crane. And I think those were all of the child's toys that I found when I was working through the game here. Wow, I didn't really see that coming in that sort of... That's, that is super interesting. Do we have... What, what other collectibles have made an appearance in this room? I don't see any of the... Oh, the globe? Did I find the globe at some point too? Or is that just... There. I'm pressing X. Yeah, okay, that's just the sentinel. Alright. Yeah, I don't, I don't see any other toys. I don't think I got any of the other toys. I assume they would be strewn about a little bit more. Kind of reminds me of Dear Esther, but, uh, wow. Yeah, that was, a uh, that was, a uh, that was a good one. I wonder, I, I hope that that's the only ending. I would... <laughs> Cause that was uh, that was a really good one. That was uh, that was a good game. I have a lot of thoughts on it that I would uh, say are probably a little on the critical side. Now that I've played through it, I have some. Uh, I have like some pretty strong opinions about this game, but I will say like that uh, it ended on a very very high note. Um, that's a that's a pretty great plot uh, point to have at the very end. Very very uh, oh in memoriam. Huh. So it's dedicated to all who are grieving with loss, I guess. There were a lot of people associated with the making of this game. I, uh, I didn't see a lot of this. Or I didn't. I didn't foresee like for a smaller studio with like a smaller budget that they would have this uh, this many people.
<laughs> we finally have a fox at home. I guess uh, whoever those people are, they, uh, <laughs> they, they got a pet fox now. They lived the dream. My bro, my cat, and the future. <laughs> I kind of wish I spoke even a lick of Spanish so I'd be able to kept, uh, pick up a couple more of what people are saying. Ah, to me? Hey, man. Thanks. I'm glad, uh, I'm glad you're giving credit where credit is due. I did play the hell out of your game. <laughs> and I get to post it up on the internet. I don't see anything online about multiple eddings. Great. Awesome. I will say, um, one thing that I found a little bit annoying about the ending was that, uh, and this was just on me, you all were spared of this, but, um, at, on every loading screen, I saw an achievement pop up that totally spoiled what was going to happen, and that was really frustrating for me. Um, because as soon as like as soon as I crossed the, the the white barrier, it popped up and it just like said achievement unlocked, no hope. I was like, oh great, it's gonna be a sad ending. <laughs> like uh, I totally undercut it, the experience a little bit, but um, at least it didn't pop up like with a sound effect and be like, uh, no hope, fifty camera score. Thank you for playing. <laughs> I wonder then, I guess the, uh, I, I don't know if you get anything special then for getting all the toys or anything like that. I guess in the end you get to play with them in the room, but I'm pretty satisfied with uh, what I saw here and I don't really need to go, I don't think I need to replay it to get like the true rhyme experience or anything like that. Um, so Wander and I will be podcasting. Um, soon-ish and we're going to talk about this experience pretty extensively so if you want to get more thoughts especially ones that i've had more time to dwell on um tune into that podcast uh it'll be on saturday i think and um i'm gonna i uh, and people in my Twitch chat are asking me, like, what do you think of the plot, man? What was the kid trying to do and all that stuff? I need to... I, In this moment, I kind of just want to let this... Um, uh, I, I'm, I'm just letting this game kind of, like, be itself for right now. And uh, I'll offer my thoughts on a lot of this stuff when we do the, uh, when we do the podcast for it specifically. But, uh, Forgotten City, written by... Lindsay Sterling. Very nice. I think this might be one of the very first times I've ever sat through the entire credit sequence for a video game. Spare... I think I did it for Dark Souls 1. But, uh, I kind of wanted to see where... I, I, I'm, I'm kind of glad that I did. This is, like, kind of a weird st sentiment, but I'm glad that I got to see things like, uh, people's pithy quotes and stuff like that. Um, so... Yeah, if you were thinking about uh, picking up Rhyme, you should totally do it. That was really awesome. Play it for yourself. If you watched me all the way through to playing Rhyme, then uh, I want to thank you for sticking through this series. That was uh, really cool of you to do. If this is for some people the first time you've uh, seen me or seen this game, then you chose a very, very interesting <laughs> uh one to look at so um yeah i guess i will uh call this series done and uh thank you all for watching